Hi, everyone. Um, I'm here today to talk about Editoria, which is a Mellon-funded project be, uh, between the UC Press and the California Digital Library to radically streamline monograph publishing in order to achieve efficiencies and cost savings for presses and library publishers, thus enabling them to produce more titles in an economically sustainable way. Um, the Collaborative Knowledge Foundation, founded by Kristen Rattan and Adam Hyde, serves as our technology project on the, uh, partner on the project, sorry. So this work is part of a recent effort on the part of the Mellon Foundation, like the other tools you'll hear about on this panel, to address the infrastructure challenges of the digital book, and in particular, the humanities monograph. The challenges for the book as we see them uh, for our project in California are as follows. Many publishers are burdened with inefficient and outdated legacy infrastructure. At the same time, scholarship is increasingly digital in its manifestation, and scholars expect their books to reflect this. Business models for monograph publishing are shifting radically, and no single format prevails. And finally, monographs cost anywhere from $15,000 to $40,000 to publish, and don't sell enough typically to cover the costs. So our proposal is to begin to address these problems by creating a truly efficient mechanism for producing books that eliminates complexity as much as is possible, uh, encourages collaborative work, outputs any number of formats, and thus shrinks the costs associated with book production and publication. So the first task in this project is to understand the complexity currently built into the book production process. And we began with a requirements gathering phase conducting interviews with the following eight university presses and library publishers. Pacific University, Penn State Press, Northwestern, University of Minnesota Press, UNT, University of North Texas Library, Open Library of the Humanities, and MLA, as well as the UC Press. By virtue of these conversations, we identified a common foundational workflow, <clears throat> excuse me, used by all these organizations to produce monographs. And we identified areas within this workflow that were kludgy or inefficient and in need of a fundamental restructuring. We noticed in particular a lot of tracking and organizing and juggling files and pa passing things back and forth by email or flash drive, a clear opportunity for process revision. Our first major release will focus on refining these activities to better uh, meet the current needs of authors and publishers. In effect, we, we seek to extract the work of production from the prescriptive and process-dependent models that currently prevail to, and to design workflows that are tuned specifically to the ways we need to produce books now in a networked and highly variable environment. We intend to replace fossilized workflows with new ones that enable parallel processes and eliminate as much as possible time-consuming and tedious tasks, such as converting and encoding styles and word files. In addition, we will support the simultaneous management of design and, co and compositing across multiple formats. And we'll get there thanks to the Collaborative Knowledge Foundation. So CKF has uh, itself received recently funding from the Shuttleworth and Moore Foundations to develop a decoupled framework and tool set called PubSuite that can be leveraged and bundled in a variety of ways to support just the kind of publishing platform that we're trying to build uh, through our project. Uh, CKF was in fact formed with the more general goal of developing open source solutions and scholarly knowledge production aimed at fostering collaboration, integrity, and speed. So needless to say, we're very glad to have them on board to help us with this project. In recent months, we've connected CK, uh, CKF developers directly with users to illuminate requirements, sketch out workflows, and begin to develop some early prototypes of this system. And we've developed, uh, sorry, we've identified key features for the initial release. Uh, the ability to support XML, HTML authoring, and also to ingest MS Word files for all those authors who continue to write in Word because we have no illusions. <laughs> we also want to centralize the work of task management alongside new tools used for editing, revision, and typesetting. Uh, we intend to provide rich metadata support for these documents, and the tool will, uh, by definition, be open source. We are particularly interested in rethinking and restructuring the way that copy editing, compositing, and proofreading are handled in the production workflow by moving them into a standards-based web environment with open APIs to help integrate the production process with other publishing and distribution systems. 
And we now have clickable wireframes that reflect our iterative development process, strongly informed by user feedback. Um, so to drill down, this is a view of a, sort of a top level um, access point in the system. It shows a number of theoretical books under development. And then when we drill down, this shows uh, the chapters within a single book and their current status. And finally, uh, the view of a single chapter under, uh, in production. So you may notice that the in-process chapter already carries with it structure and styling. We aim to have the editing environment closely match the final layout to make more work concurrent. We're trying to collapse the editing environment and the typesetting process as much as possible so what you see is what you get. And in future, you'll be able to live toggle your view so you can monitor how things are looking among a vi variety of print and digital formats uh, prior to completing the, the, the book. <clears throat> and our usability focus is really fundamentally on flexibility. The system will support many different kinds of books. We anticipate at a gross level, for example, that the, ne the necessary tools for humanities monograph production may differ pretty substantially for those needed for science writing, and we expect the tool to accommodate those differences, to be modular and flexible in its design. So our current status is uh, that we're well into the development of uh, first versions of these components that I've just shown, and in the months to come, we'll be working in two-month-long development and requirements refining cycles to complete the workflow management piece, automated typesetting, and the API to help connect to title management systems, for example with a target release date of winter 2016 for version 1.0. We have a wise and deeply knowledgeable advisory board engaged in this work, some of whom are sitting to my left. <laughs> and you can learn more about the project at the Editoria website, which is currently under development, www.editoria.pub. And you can learn more about the Collaborative Knowledge Foundation and its broader goals than just our single project at www.coco, that's C-O-K-O dot foundation. Um, you can also contact me. I'm Catherine. Um, Eric Van Rijn is my co-PI at UC Press. And Justin Gonder is the project manager. So feel free to contact any of us with questions. Thanks very much.